All right, guys, so I found an old link of mine. I found an old link, check this out. November 16th, 1912. Suicide by drinking a solution of salt. Suicide by drinking a solution of salt. Now I cannot um, access the full article right now because I don't have a, uh, I don't have a membership with these guys. I should maybe, but I have other information I can show you. Anyways, suicide by drinking a solution of salt. Now I personally guys have heard of, I believe it was samurai warriors carrying pouches of salt in case they were caught captivity. They would eat the salt. They would toss it down their throat to kill themselves. Okay, so let's establish this baseline. You can commit suicide by drinking a solution of salt. How much salt do you guys think it takes to kill you? Well, let me just tell you first before I go on. Check this, man. This is this is intense. This is intense. <laughs> Several cases of fatal salt poisoning in China throughout Chikyang province. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Probably not. And probably in other provinces of China, the drinking of a saturated solution of salt is a... Con oh, saturated. That means it's it's uh, dissolved. It's dissolved in a solution. So if it's, hey, if it's clear, man, it's got to be safe, right? It's dissolved. Is a common mode of committing suicide. So they're drinking salt water to commit suicide. There is none more difficult to treat. There is none more difficult to treat. Do you guys know why? I'm going to explain it in a minute. If only one case did I succeed in securing recovery. In only one case did I succeed in... Wow. How many cases? Uh, so he okay, just said several cases and only one he was able to save the person. Salt is taken for suicidal purposes, sometimes in a common saturated solution made with water as the solvent, of course. And so I was just assuming that, but yeah, what else are they gonna use? Apple juice, you know? And sometimes in the brine from salted kraut. You guys know that sauerkraut you love so much? Vegans, I know. Love you guys. You're vegan. If you're vegan, that means you care about your own cells too, okay? Salt kills fucking cells. This is why there is none more difficult to treat than suicide by salt. Do you know why? Because the salt is now inside the body and the only way to dilute it enough to cause it to not kill cells is to heavily douse the area with water. This is why people have puffiness under their eyes, all through their body, in your cankles, everywhere else. High sodium. The dumb fucking doctor most of the time will not say that to you, but I have noticed in recent times here there's more and more salt-free stuff being put out there. I'm happy to see that at least. Even though the food is useless, at least it's not going to just directly kill your cells. It will kill you over time, but it's not going to directly kill you. This shit does, okay? Salt. And we're not just talking table salt. Salt, salt, salt. It's all the same. Rock, salt, sodium, chloride. It's not sodium, guys. The sodium they say you need is not sodium chloride. The sodium your body uses is sodium. It exists in the air in gas form, okay? I'm going to find out the two gases that make up salt. I'm going to find that out, but it's in the air. Everything in your body that your body's made up of is in the air. Salt is taken for suicidal purposes, sometimes in a common saturated solution made with water as the solvent, and sometimes in the brine from salted kraut. <laughs> well, there you go. Poisoning by salt usually presents a picture of high temperature and pulse, purging, vomiting, and spasm. Let's read that again. Poisoning by salt. Poisoning by salt. Huh, how do you get poisoned by salt? Unless salt is a poison. And you're going to think, oh, it's just huge amounts. I'm going to show you how much. And you're going to shit your pants if you've been eating this stuff. And listening to these 20-ish, 
30-ish year old idiot saying, oh, put a pinch of it in your water. Do you know why it stimulates you guys? It's like getting punched in the face. That fucking, will that stimulate you if I punch you in your nose? Yeah, yeah, it'll wake you up. It'll wake you the fuck up. Is it good for you? No, and neither is salt. Salt usually presents a picture of high temperature and pulse, purging, vomiting, and spasm. Purging, vomiting, and spasm. Do you know why the pulse goes up? Because your blood is more actively pushing volumes of blood. Your blood, your heart is more actively pushing volumes of blood through the areas that are damaged to help clear out the cellular waste from the just now killed cell, removing it and trying to replace it. That is what the body does. You literally kill your cells with salt. In the case in which I was successful in securing favorable results, I washed the stomach, washed the stomach with two quarts of a 1% solution probably one percent uh two quarts of a one percent salute dot solution i don't know what they're talking about there but let's move on okay check this out this is from there you go for all you guys that love the government so much they're national institute of health how much higher can i go oh lord lord please tell me about my health, O oh Lords. A systematic review of fatalities related to acute ingestion of salt. A need for warning labels? Mm, I don't know, guys. Maybe just stop putting it in the food, you fucking tards. There are sporadic cases of fatalities from acutely eating salt. Yet on social media, there are challenges too. Oh, of course there is on social media because the social media has got a bunch of retards telling you a bunch of bullshit. And examples of children and some adults acutely eating salt. And recently, a charity advocating eating small amounts of salt to empathize with Syrian refugees. Okay, so I wasn't reading this for all that stuff. What I was reading it for was this. They performed a systematic review of fatalities in, from ingesting salt to assess if relatively moderate doses of salt could be fatal. Now, interchangeable with salt could be the term sodium chloride. That's the scientific nomenclature. Remember that word from school? nomenclature salt is n-a-c-l okay moderate doses of salt could be fatal check this in a review of fatalities from ingesting salt to assess if relatively moderate doses of salt could be fatal and i'm going to prove to you that it is here it goes in 27 reports there were 35 fatalities documented 19 in adults and 16 in children the lethal dose dose watch this was estimated to be less than 10 grams of sodium, which is five teaspoons. Less than 10 grams of sodium is less than five teaspoons of salt in two children and less than 25 grams of sodium in four adults, which is less than four tablespoons of salt. Now I'm gonna tell you, 10 grams is 10,000 milligrams. Go grab a bag of pretzels and see how many grams of salt is in that thing. Have you ever sat down and ate a bag of pretzels? You know how much salt you ate? You ate one third the amount that it takes to kill kids, to kill these two, at least. You see this? I'm pretty sure they didn't grab like unhealthy kids to do this with. I'm sure they had to have healthy subjects relatively to do this test. They're not gonna grab people that are on their deathbed and throw a bunch of salt down their throat or kids likewise. 10 grams of sodium is 10,000 milligrams. 3,000 plus milligrams you will find in a bag of pretzels if it's an average bag of pretzels. Chips, the salty ones, also about 3,000 milligrams, especially the cheese puff type stuff. That shit's really salty. See, I spend time sometimes reading these labels. I'm not in there to buy this shit. I'm in there to read and learn and see what they're doing, and this is what they're doing. This is how they make you die on time, guys. This is how your body stiffens up. This is how your blood gets blocked from reaching portions of your body to regenerate you. No part of your body is supposed to be older than seven years. Did you know this? If your body was kept clear, but it's not clear because it's filled with dead food, putrid shit all through you, and sediment, which is rock. And salt is also rock, but it's rock that also kills, as you can see here. Less than five teaspoons of salt 
killed two kids. Less than five teaspoons. That's about three bags, three-ish bags of pretzels or salty potato chips. Okay? So don't tell me a little bit is okay. So one, one third of that, one third of the amount that it takes to kill a kid, that's enough for you in one sitting. You grab a salty ass bag of pretzels or chips, that's one third the dose to kill a child. And you're gonna tell me you need that, it's healthy. I'm gonna tell you right now, the reason it's stimulating you is because it's killing your fucking cells. It's like getting smacked in the face, like I just said. If somebody were to slice your skin, smack you in the face, kick you in the nuts, that's what salt's doing to you. Stop listening to these idiots on social media that aren't even old enough to, to really see the effects of it yet. Look at the person that's uh, 50 and doing that every day and see what they look like and see if you wanna do that. Dry up, wrinkle up, fucking die. That's what they want, die on time. Don't do it, guys. We're gods. We're divine. We're not meant for this shit. This is circus. This is circus stuff here. This is absolute poison. All the preservatives have a salt base, a sodium chloride base. They all have a sodium chloride base, which is this right here. It's not sodium liars on National Institute of Health. It's not sodium. It's sodium chloride. Don't let them use those two words interchangeably with you. Sodium is not sodium chloride. You can derive sodium from a living plant-based source. Sodium chloride is sourced from dead rock. Eat rocks. That's what they have us doing. Smart, right? Nope. Quit.